for them. Right. They're there for them. Well, you can, okay. I was giving you a simple, uh -huh. semi-inexpensive solution. You can slice that cat however you want it. But Just cast the tag on these honey beak holders. Tag. And, and like two, 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 whatever, which ones we use here right. and here, yeah, yeah. And those label, those outside labels are two cents a piece. Yeah, Just yeah. for sanity's sake, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're going to be invaluable, right? So you guys actually extract the bees, honey, from these things right here? Well, we've got honey in these ones because we're, we wanted to, I've read that the chips don't reflect very well against liquids and metal. Oh. And since sometimes, most of the time, see what we want to do is I'm just tell her that the bees get moved from spot to spot to spot. And sometimes we'll take a half a load and drop it here and half a load there. Then three weeks later that half will get picked up and they might be combined and dropped somewhere else or they might get split all up. So there's all kind of like musical chairs and they're mixed all over the place and trying to keep track of yeah. where they've been and a bunch of other other data is it's uh, that's what we're trying that's what I'm trying to keep track of. Nice. The main thing is I'm just trying to figure out if we can if if we can get reads, first of all, and how convenient the reads are gonna be. You know, like some most of the spots free, we can walk around, it's no big deal. It would be a lot nicer if we could read them all on the truck right there when everything's ready mm -hmm. to go. They do have wireless readers that you could attach Not to your the truck. truck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's like, I've seen those.